Capsule with Conflex. Today I'm excited to show you an all new robotic kit called Cooper. This here is a 6 in 1 modular kit that allows you to go ahead and create different trooper robots. Now, this was sent over by Roboblock, in which, if you want your very own, check out the link down below in the description. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. Alright, so this here's our box in which it actually has a very nice graphic detail of it. So you do see the robot itself, or actually a robot of that you can make on the cover itself. In which you do see it's got an LCD display as well as cool looking wheels which is actually driven by a very powerful motor. So it's actually really fast. Now on the bottom here kind of shows you the app itself so you can even go ahead and customize it and create your own codes. And on the bottom here it says it's 6 in 1. Now as we rotate it, you see this cool looking input right here, look at that, that's actually pretty interesting on how they designed that. And then on the back here, it kind of gives you everything kind of spelled out for you. So you get uh, three different boxes in which they have different parts. So you get an LED matrix, you get an ultrasonic sensor, you get the QMine Plus which is based on Arduino, and then you get a battery holder as well as different tires among different metal parts. Then you also get a screwdriver, a wrench, and so on and so forth. Now, there's different features such as a drive mode, uh, the ability to go ahead and customize, as well as a graphical programming display. It's got different teaching material which allows you to go ahead and create different things, as well as supports Arduino so you can go even use C++ or anything else. And then it's actually got a rich expansion so you can always go ahead and build off of it. Now, uh, it does have an app that goes through Google Play as well as the App Store, and it works via Bluetooth. And on the top here are certain examples of the robots you can build. So you get the Dozer, the Little Guardian, the Cavalier, Captain Alloy, the Voyager, and Scorpioid. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like on the inside. So this will just go ahead and slide right off, just like that. And <laughs> check that out. It's got this cool looking digital display. Almost reminds me of Transformer and you know that the block itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this here. Here we go. Uh, so over here we have compliance information and then this here looks like almost like a poster. Alright, check that out. We have ourselves a cool looking poster. This here is Captain Alloy. Uh, it's got all the small different robots on the bottom as well. Definitely something I'll hang in my room. Very cool touch. And then as we open up even more, we see a few different boxes. Everything nicely labeled. Uh, so these are the mechanical parts in here. And then we have our uh, motor wheels, uh, electronic modules, the main board, as well as our hardware and tools. Alright, so these are the boxes that it comes with. Uh, so this one says mechanical parts. So if you open it up, you'll see all the metal framework with it. Alright, so these are all the different metal components so you can actually go ahead and build off of it and kind of give it a very unique look to it. As you can take a closer look, you'll see it's got a nice metallic finish to it. And then literally if you hit it against each other, you can hear that they're made out of a nice quality piece. So definitely very sturdy and also very durable. And then these here are the motor wheels, so let's take a look at these. Alright, so these here are the wheels that we get, and then we get these two powerful motors, which will actually deliver a good amount of power to the car itself or the trooper. So actually you can go ahead and take it off-roading and do it just about anything else. Also made out of very nice material, you can see the rubber compound. Uh, and then these here are made out of a nice plastic piece as well. And I can imagine these take a good amount of bumps as well. So it's actually really cool. And then this here is our main board, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so this here is the main board itself. Uh, you can actually see the Arduino chip underneath through this plastic casing. Uh, I love the quality of it as well as the design. And then it's got these multiple ports on the side so you can actually go ahead and expand on it as well. So this here is our hardware and tools. Let's go and take a look at that. Whoa! <laughs> so this here is all the hardware. So we have a lot of different things going on. So we got a lot of different nuts and bolts. Uh, we have ourselves some cables. Uh, and then we have ourselves a tread. And then we even have a cable to connect it to the computer to go even further into detail. And then we have a few different braces as well as a screwdriver and a wrench. Very nice. And lastly we have ourselves the electronic module. Uh, so these here are our sensors. And then here we have our electronic module. So we have an ultrasonic sensor as well as an LCD screen. Uh, which will further aid us in customizing and create the ultimate trooper. So with that being said that kind of gives you an idea of what everything is. Let's go ahead and boot up the app next and see what that looks like. Alright, so this here is the app itself, so Roboblock does make another robot also called a Q-Scout, but we're looking at the Coopers today, so we'll click on that. And then this here shows all the different robots that you can go ahead and build. So you just go ahead and swipe right through them and kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. So you have a little Guardian, the uh, Cavalier, Captain Alloy, uh, and then the Dozer and the Voyager. So let's just go ahead and try building Captain Alloy, and then we'll click on that and click on uh, Build. And this will show us the building instructions. So literally you just go ahead and like toggle through them and it'll show you step by step how to go ahead and build the robot itself. So it actually seems quite interesting and kind of simple design. Uh, so it's actually quite easy to go ahead and build. It's only 26 steps, so that's actually pretty nice. So with that being said, let's go ahead and build this robot and see what it looks like.
so we're all set and ready to go and I'm really excited to see how this Cooper plays. Now overall I have to say the quality on this build is amazing. It took me about an hour to go ahead and build this thing, but you have to understand we are building from the scratch up and modifying it to make any other robot is actually quite easier once you have a platform. Now overall I actually like the pieces itself, uh, the metallic finish to it is amazing and even the LCD screen looks really cool as well too. So seeing it powered on should be quite interesting. So let's go ahead and turn it on. There you go. And we see some LEDs flashing on there saying that it's connecting. And then we'll go ahead and click on Cooper and click on the uh, uh, Captain Alloy, which we're connected to. And then we'll click on the connect to the Bluetooth, which will allow us to control it as well. Okay, it is currently in connecting. And voila, <laughs> there you go. Looks like uh, we have ourselves a little face on that screen as well. So the controls are quite simple. So we have a joystick on the left hand side, which allows us to control the robot basically. And then we have the uh, face feature as well as the sound, even a clap. So let's see how this all works out. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna move the joystick. <laughs> kind of hard to control, but it's actually pretty cool. Look at that. All right, so we can go more reverse. We can go forward. We can turn. We can turn the other way. Look at that. <laughs> So actually pretty cool, you know, it's a scout, literally. And then we have the different facial expressions, so we can do like different angry and happy, sad, kissing, so on and so forth. And then just find the one that you like. <laughs> and then we have a horn. Wow, that's loud. And then we have a clap, so it's almost like a, like a movement that it does. So it's gonna just kind of go left and right, just like that. And then under uh, dot matrix, this will allow us to go ahead and customize the screen to our own liking. So I can go ahead and write like a K on there, like that. Ah, get for conflicts. <laughs> and then they have uh, different presets that you can actually do and like modify it as well. So, you know, kind of do something like that. Or uh, you can even do an animation. So let's try this. So we have like a heart. Uh, we have some different faces. Like that's like talking. Uh, actually a lot of different uh, features in here as well. So that's actually pretty cool. And then we have music as well too. Now music allows us to go ahead and create our own sounds. Now note, you can actually use these sounds in the uh, coding version of it, which we'll go into a little shortly later, uh, but they have preset sounds as well. Alright, so it kind of gives you an idea how that works out. Now, if we go back to the main menu itself and click on My Applications, we can go ahead and click Create a New Application here and assign it a new role. Now, this is literally a template that allows you to go ahead and use all those features into one. Uh, in addition, you do have other variables such as different sensors that we can do from temperature, even humidity, and then amplify that into the robot itself. Now, the way it works is simple, you just go ahead and drag and drop. So, for instance, if we click on start here and we put the flag, uh, we can go ahead and create a motion, a light. So we can even change like the LED panel to a certain color. So let's do that there. And then we'll change it to green. And then from there we can even create a sound as well. So let's try that. Uh, and then, you know, do controls as well. So you can go ahead and like repeat it as well. Uh, so we can go ahead and repeat twice. And yeah, so you have sensors as well. So you have the ultrasonic sensor, uh, which we can go ahead and implement it as well. Just literally a plug and play. And then we have a uh, line control. So we can actually put a line on it and have it follow the line. Uh, we can do a sound as well as a temperature, even humidity as mentioned previously. And yeah, so let's click on the flag. So you notice the lights did change there. And then literally what's gonna happen is that, there you go, it repeated itself. So, you know, kind of gives you an idea of what it's all about. The fact that you can actually control it and create your own animations, as well as your own scripts, is actually really interesting. The fact that it actually teaches you about robotics. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this robot. Definitely have to think that it's actually a really cool and unique design to it. The fact that you can actually control it to its full extent, and have six different robots in one. Not to mention, the possibilities are literally endless. Now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.